In this video, we're going to go over exactly how to use an external code editor like VS Code with Pico 8. This can be so helpful, especially if you're making big games or you have a lot of code and you don't want to use the cute but a little bit annoying code editor here inside of Pico. Really, it comes down to making an external Lua file. What we're going to do is in Pico, we're just going to hit escape and type folder. That's going to bring up our carts directory. So this is where all of our cartridges are going to be stored in Pico 8. This is also where we're going to save our Lua files. So I'll just make a new folder. I'll just right click and say new folder and we'll just call this my game one. And here in VS Code, I'll go to file, new file, and we'll just call this my game 01 LUA for Lua. It's going to ask me where to put this and I'm just going to copy that directory and hit create file like that. And now I have this Lua file loaded in VS Code. Now back in Pico, I'm going to save my game. I'm going to say save my underscore game underscore 01 dot P8. And that's going to save that. In our carts, we have my game 1 dot P8. Great. All this is just to kind of keep us organized which you do have to start doing if you're using external files. But the key to making this work is in your code editor in Pico, you type this pound sign include, and then, and then we're going to give it the relative path to this Lua file. So my game one, my game one Lua, I should have put a leading zero, but that's okay. So include, we can just copy and paste this right here, include my game one slash my game 01 L U A just like that. And now we can start to type our code here in VS code. So we'll say function underscore init function underscore update function underscore draw. Let's do a clear screen. Let's draw a circle just to make sure this is working. Do a 63 comma 63 and let's make it six pixels wide with color seven. Save that Lua file, switch over to Pico, save, run. There we go. And so it's actually using this code inside of Pico 8. So cool. Now, one of the benefits of using an external editor like this is autofill. And so it's a good idea to make sure that you have the Pico 8 extensions loaded up here for VS Code. So we can go to our extensions and just type Pico-8, and there are a bunch of these. What I like is this Pico-8 theme for the colors, and then this Pico-8-LS language server for the autocomplete. So check this out. If I say rect fill, and then I type parentheses, it will come up with the guide on all of the arguments to put into that command. Ah, oh, so great, so helpful. Because you know what? You forget this stuff sometimes. So this can really help make things a little bit faster when it comes to creating things in Pico 8. And you can include multiple Lua files. You could have a Lua file for each function, one for init, one for update, one for draw. You could make a different Lua file for each kind of tab like you would in Pico 8. All you have to do is just say pound include and then give it the path. And when you publish your game, it will just automatically copy all of this code into the Pico 8 cartridge, which is really cool. So this is a great way to get it set up. And hopefully that is helpful for you making games in Pico 8. By the way, if you want to dive deep into making games in Pico 8, I have a free course right there. Thanks for watching.